What's up guys? Back again with another video about headless guitar bridges. <laughs> you know how many times I've made a video regarding this, but um, I want to give you a little more updated information. I keep getting this question from a lot of people about, you know, what bridge can I get if I like to dive bomb, if I want like a Floyd style that I can use whammy on and uh, other types of 80s or 90s style music, and that's cool. Um, and I've gone through a few tremolos in past videos, kind of saying which ones are good. The Overlord of Music is definitely out of the question. There was another Chinese floating bridge, like, um, not these Groat bridges. There's another style of Chinese headless guitar bridge. It's on my red guitar that's, you know, they're okay. It's basically like a Steinberger uh, ripoff. They're not terribly great, but they're pretty much the only thing that's worthy. It's like this one here. Um, these are okay, but to be honest with you, now see that's Overlord of Music. So they're so similar. The other one I have on my red guitar, if you want to go watch the video on uh, my red headless guitar, uh, it's definitely uh, passable. But this right here is the best floating bridge that you're going to find on a Chinese headless guitar in terms of using it for like, you know, heavy whammy, uh, a solid floating bridge. This is basically just the NK bridge that I have on my other guitar, but it's a floating version. And if you go back and watch my video on my uh, Steinberger that I did the bridge swap, this is the bridge. Uh, I just went ahead and I took the whammy bar out and then I trimmed off the sides there a little bit to make it fit in the routing cavity. But this one right here, this is the best floating bridge that you're going to get on a Chinese headless guitar, hands down, no question. These bridges right here, from, well, not from NK, but you'll find them on NK, and you'll also find them on Crate Guitars. And Crate Guitars is pretty much the only Chinese headless I've seen that has this, uh, the floating style, as opposed to just the, uh, the fixed bridge that you'll find like on eBay and stuff. But this right here, you can see it's got the brass block. I took all that off. I took off the whammy cavity, all that too. This is going to be the best um, headless guitar bridge that you're going to find. Here's all your dimensions for your routing. Um, and if you don't want to go that route, the only thing I could suggest would be a Kaler. And they're they're a pain in the ass to deal with because they have they require like special routing. You can't just buy a Kaler and put it where Floyd was. I mean, a Kaler has to be basically built around like a body blank, a guitar body. You have to have a guitar like not even routed yet and then have the Kaler uh, put on there and routed specifically for a Kaler. But they are very, very good tremolos. If you go look on Kaler's site, um, they're probably one of the best floating bridges I've ever used, better than a Floyd Rose. Um, but Kaler's are just, they're not known a whole lot because they're just like a pain in the ass to deal with to set up and install but uh, if you're looking for a Chinese headless guitar the solid floating bridge this right here is definitely what you want to look at or just buy a crate I mean that's <laughs> I'm going to I'm actually gonna buy another crate. god I thought I was gonna stop doing these Chinese guitars but I'm only gonna buy one more and that's it only reason I'm doing that is because my red guitar I'm having a pain in the ass trying to find uh, the right size volume and tone pots for it. They're those little small micro ones and the seller isn't getting back to me. So if you're in the market for Chinese headless and you want a floating bridge, make sure you get one with this one on it. Trust me, these are awesome. They're super easy to intonate and to deal with and tune. Rock solid bridges. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. And uh, yeah, stick with these bridges right here if you want to do your dive bomb, 80s, 90s type music, metal, whatever. And yeah, that's it. See ya.